We have not been able to resolve the matter at this stage, but uh, I will report back to the State President. I can just say that the government is committed to a, an honourable recognition of the position of the Zulu King and Kingdom in a new constitutional dispensation. There are restrictions and limitations, but we are committed to that, and we will do everything in our power to try and get that about. The matter has been discussed, you know, with frankness in the couple of hours that we've been together. And although we have not reached any solution, or that a solution is not really in, in sight so far, but I think we, all of us agree that uh, we, we approach the matter with a, great, a certain degree of optimism, because we realize that it's a matter that has to be resolved. Uh, speaking to me, speaking not as Prime Minister to His Majesty, but also as President of the IFP, I realize that what a quandary the matter presents me with. Because in the first place, if the matter of the king is not resolved, even if all the amendments now that we want made to the Constitution go through, if, as His Majesty stated to this president, that he will not recommend to his subjects, of which I'm one, that there should be participation in the elections, I think it compounds that problem. Because even as president of the IFP, if, as far as the IFP is concerned, matters are resolved. But if the king's matter is not resolved, we'll still be in square one. So the matter is, is quite serious, actually, not just for us, but for the country as a whole.